Miss Mary again from Midpoint. Are you at your house? Oh, good. I'm here at the library. I think we're far enough apart. I can take off my mask. Are you ready for a story? If you're ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story and you want us all to know, if you're ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story, sound like a bird, tweet, tweet. If you're ready for a story, sound like a bird, bonk, bonk. If you're ready for a story and you want us all to know, if you're ready for a story, sound like a bird, cock a doodle doo. Ha <laughs> ha, that was fun. We'll have a chance to make some more bird sounds later. What do you think we're gonna read about today? You're right, it's birds. Our first book today is called Birds from Head to Tail, and this one was written for us by Reese Archer. A lot of times the books I choose are stories that are kind of silly, where animals act like people, or strange things, but sometimes I like to have a book of real true facts, and that's what we have today. Birds from Head to Tail. Birds have many body parts. Hmm, I think we're gonna learn about each of these. Birds have hard mouths. This is called a bill or a beak. Look at how big that is. I think I know somebody with a nose that big. Birds have wings. They use them to fly. All birds have feathers. Robin feathers are very bright. Robins have red chests. I bet you see robins in your yard. I see them a lot. Most birds have four toes on each foot. Let's count. One, two, three, four. How many toes do you have? I bet you have five. I do. <gasps> Some chickens have five. Are you a chicken with five toes? <laughs> Ducks have a big feet and they use them to swim. Peacock tails are huge. Oh, that looks like a fan. Eagles have very flat tails and they use them to help them when they fly. And these are the words that we've learned. We learned a bill is what you call the uh, bird's mouth. Feathers, right? All birds are covered with feathers. And the tail, the back part of the bird. I like that one. That's pretty cool. But you know what I wanna do? I kinda wanna move around and dance. Do you think that would be okay? Now for this song, I wanna teach you another sign. I know a lot of times we talk about um, sign language. So, I want to teach you the sign for wait. I'm going to stand up. And if you're waiting, if you, if you want to make the sign for wait, you, you stand with your arms out in front of you like this with your hands up. And then shift over to the side a little bit and wiggle your fingers like this. You got it? And that means wait. And if you're waiting patiently, like, okay, I don't mind waiting, you can do it like this. But if you really, you can't, oh, I just gotta have it right now, then you do it like this. Just like you use your voice to um, say, I can wait, or I can barely wait. You say the same thing with your hands. I wait, or wait. Are you ready? This song is called Can't Wait to Celebrate, and it's from our friend Jim Gill. Are you ready? Let's go. I hope you're you know, dancing. It's so much fun to clap. But sometimes it's hard to wait. We clap our hands and we get it together. We clap our hands to celebrate. We clap our hands and we get it together. My friends and I can hardly wait. You got it? Palms up, off to the side, wiggle your fingers. To stamp our feet when we get it together. To stamp our feet to celebrate. Real hard! Stamp our feet when we get it together. My friends and I can hardly wait. Wait. Is it hard to wait? 
To bounce up and down when we get together, bounce up and down to celebrate. Bounce up and down when we get together, my friends and I can hardly wait. Wasn't that fun? I like that song a lot. So that's how you say wait. Hands up, off to the side, wiggle those fingers. All right. Well, that was kind of fun. It was some fun making noise. How about some more noise? Are you ready? This one is called Noisy Bird Sing Along. All right. And this one was written for us by John Himmelman. Now I might need some help from some of my friends because we're going to make all kinds of animal noises, bird noises. Are you ready? Isn't that pretty? That is a woodpecker. I forget which kind. I have those in my yard. <clears throat> we love to listen to the singing birds. Each one has its very own song. Let's sing those songs with them. Some bird songs sound like sentences. A robin starts the morning with a cheerful wish. Cheery up, cheery -o. Let's do it together, you ready? Cheery up, cheery -o. Cheery up, cheery -o. A wet lawn is a favorite place for a robin to hunt for worms. <clears throat> White-throated sparrows Add a warm tone to a cold winter morning. Oh, sweetie, Canada, Canada, Canada. Can you say that? Canada, Canada. Nice. A yellow warbler sings sweetly near a stream. Sweet, sweet, I'm so sweet, sweet. Yellow warblers nest in the wetlands where there are plenty of insects to eat. I like, bug I like birds that eat bugs. Then the bugs don't eat me. <clears throat> the deep voice of a barred owl seems to ask a question. Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? You want to do that with me? Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? Yeah, nice. Some birds say their own names. A black-capped chickadee pops up on a branch. Chickadee, chickadee, chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee. Let me hear you say it. Chickadee dee dee. Very nice. Black capped chickadees live in woodlands where they find plenty of insects and seeds to eat. Oh, this is a good one. This one is called a whippoorwill. A whippoorwill whistles from the edge of a swamp. Whippoorwill, whippoorwill. Neat, huh? Some birds just make sounds. A mallard quacks in a pond. Quack, quack, quack. I know you can do that one. Let's do it. Quack, 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 quack. Nice. Mallards are called dabbling ducks. They tip their bodies forward underwater to find seeds and water plants. You know what? Sometimes you'll see the duck's backside sticking up out of the water if their head's down there. This woodcock calls when the sun has set. It sounds like peet, peet. Can you do that? Peet, peet. Yeah. <gasps> Nut hatches sound like they have stuffy noses. <coughs> Nut hatches' white bellies reflect the light on the bark, which helps them to find insects. Hummingbirds, the wings hum in a blur of motion. Hmm. Let me hear you. Hmm. Hummingbirds zip from flower to flower to sip sweet nectar. I saw a hummingbird by my house the other day. Do you know what? The big hummingbird was this size, the size of my thumb. They are so small. Very pretty. A house sparrow chirps from atop a brick wall. Chirp, chirp. Let me hear ya. Chirp, chirp, chirp. 
And this one is a downy woodpecker. It taps away on a hollow branch. Tap, 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 tap. Can you do that? Tap, 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 tap. Downy woodpeckers tap into trees and bark to find beetle larvae, caterpillars, and other insects to eat. Let's bring all the birds together for a chorus of songs. I'm gonna say all of these. You choose your favorite one. I wanna hear you. Are you ready? Pee, 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 quack, 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 quack. Sweet, sweet, I'm so sweet. Tap, 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 tap. Cheerio, 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 cheerio. Uh, 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 uh. Chickadee dee dee. Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? Oh, sweet, Canada, Canada, Canada. And then the hummingbird. Mmm. In the back of this book, there's more information about each of these different kinds of birds and how to go looking for them and what kind of bird feeders to use if you want to attract birds to your yard. Do you know what? At my house, Miss Mary and Mr. James have some bird feeders in our yard in the uh, hanging from the tree and it's kind of fun. Sometimes we sit on the porch and we are very quiet and we watch the birds come or sometimes we go for a walk and we see what kind of birds we can see in the neighborhood. Why don't you do that? Instead of a craft today, let's have an activity. Why don't you go take a walk and see what kind of nice birds you can find? I forgot to tell you about my socks. I have birds. Can you see those birds? Yeah, I've got birds on that sock. That was a gift from a friend of mine. Actually, my boss, that's kind of why. Anyway, um, so let's go bird watching, okay? And I will see you next time. See you later, alligator, after while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye-bye, everybody.